Cause I don't wanna hear you speak this is Especially not from when you weak bitches Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and just now tuning into one of my videos for the first time, my name is Kaylee and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on my video. I truly appreciate it. So what we're getting into in this video is I created this makeup look. It screams fall, it screams October. I'm definitely in the Halloween spirit. Like I said, Halloween is right around the corner. So I thought that I would get creative with my looks, start creating some more dramatic looks, and I'm just really just in the festive spirit. So this is what I came up with. I have the black on the lid. And then if you're familiar with watching my videos, you know that I absolutely love color. So of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't add a little pop of color into the eye. Um, added some gems to give it some extra va va boom i'm really into gems right now we really love the way this look came out i'm obsessed if you're doing maybe like a a witch if you're like a badass beautiful witch i would definitely say this would be a look for it or honestly i feel like this look is so versatile that you could really pair it with any costume i think everything that i have used in this video is not new besides the anastasia pigment um this was my first time using this this is actually what i have right here um this is my first time using it so i thought that this was pretty bomb i'm so glad that it was as pigmented as it's supposed to be because looking at it i was like this is probably not even going to really be a true white and it is straight up it does have some pearl reflex so that's pretty much the only thing that's new now i didn't set so i'm gonna go ahead and set now this is the morphe jeffree star um setting mist i normally skip out on this part to be honest because I'm not going anywhere as soon as I'm done I'm gonna take my photos and go wash all this off unless I'm actually really going out then I do use setting spray that's why it's because I don't want to waste it if I'm not going nowhere uh, I always set my face but yeah um, without further ado um, stay tuned to find out how I created this and I hope you enjoy it and yeah let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll see you guys at the end of the video to close the video out all right All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the Emma Mitchell Acid Rain Blank Canvas Eye Primer, and it's gonna have the eyeshadow stick and stay on all day. We're gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection. This is volume three, if I'm not mistaken. And we're gonna take that shade called C2 right there, which is like a red, it looks orange here, but it's, I promise you it's red. And we're gonna use that as our first transition shade. Now I'm taking this a little bit low like down to my eye a little bit to give it more of that editorial look. I then take that orange and place it right beside that red. Now these colors are so pigmented in this palette so literally if you barely dip your, your brush into it you're gonna get really good pigmentation. I then take that shade called E4 and it's a yellow. I did kind of struggle with this one with any yellow that you use you gotta you gotta kind of build it up so I ended up having to really stick my brush in there without taking off any excess powder and I got the color that I wanted but it, it took a minute I then take that shade E1 from the palette and it's actually green but here it looks like a turquoise green it's not it's actually more on the green side and I take that at the end of my eye now the thing when you're doing a look like this you just got to always make sure you are you know blending but not over blending because that tends to happen too so here i just take all the colors and just kind of like marinate them together so that it makes more of a seamless blend without me over blending because sometimes i tend to do that i take the blank canvas by emma mitchell and i use that to cut the crease so that it's a nice sharp line as you can see here i take another palette this is in the shade d5 i use that black and I use that as my um, lid color. This was definitely out of my element, but it was so much fun creating this. I've never done a rainbow look on my channel, so I really enjoyed doing this. I took in every moment. And I do wing this out towards the end so that it gets that nice winged out effect. I then take some duo glue. This is the non-latex because I'm allergic to, I am allergic to latex. So I use that one preferably. I like the wand. As you can see here, I use it to 
create the shape of the eye look so that I can then place this Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter. This is in the shade Icy. And it's a loose pigment and then you can see it has like a little lid that I really enjoy it, it like kept everything clean and neat and I really like that now I was a little scared to do this because I was like oh my god this is gonna either be good or bad I'm gonna either be successful at doing this or it's gonna be an epic fail but it ended up being really easy for me I didn't struggle at all I did have some fallout which I just took a plain um brush wiped off the um excess glitter that was on the lid luckily it was already set and then um, just took off the excess glitter. And then I used the black eyeshadow to clean up the area so that it's more precise. I then take the duo glue, I put that towards the end at the bottom as you can see that I'm doing right now. And I kind of add some little extra pizzazz to it and add it to the end of the look. And I, I really liked it, it came out really pretty. So this is something that I don't normally do on my channel and I add my um, eyebrow routine I try to add it here and there it's nothing new it's same um, products I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Wiz pencil Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer I use the Wiz pencil first I use that to create the stroke of the hairs and then I use the brow definer to create the shape of my eyebrow and the brow definer is much darker so I'm able to fill in sparse areas I then take the spewy take off any of that excess powder to make it more light in the front I then take this benefit give me brow which I'm obsessed with will be getting a full size tube and I use that to lay it down and it just gave it like that extra BAM and then take this Perlice matcha green antioxidant primer and this is actually new to my collection and I use that to prime the face love love you'll see the results at the end when I talk about it. I then take the Too Faced a Born This Way foundation in the shade Honey. I use this Petri dish, dish. And then I use the Matte Poreless uh, Maybelline foundation in the shade 330. And I mix the two to get the kind of color payoff that I want. And I use the Petri dish to kind of mix it because sis, ain't nobody trying to use their hands to blend it, you feel me? I then take the Photo Focus Concealer. I actually end up using two concealers. I use that one first because I just really like it and I feel like it's really close to my skin tone. Don't know why I used two, don't ask me. I then use the KKW Beauty um, Concealer in the shade 8. Haven't used this in a minute. And I put that right on top to blend the two. I also use it for my forehead and my chin as well. As you guys know, I like a brush application to uh, blend out now, so that's what I'm using instead of a sponge. And but I do end up using the sponge to just grab any excess um, makeup I may have. I then use a Studio Fix by MAC, and I use this to set underneath my eye. And let me tell you, that powder was beautiful. It was like airbrush finish. I don't know why I stopped using that. I then take the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut and I use that to cream contour. Absolutely love, love this concealer. I also use it to contour my neck and chin. And then I also take the Born This Way Concealer and I use that to contour underneath my uh, cream contour. And then just go ahead and blend that out. I then take the KKW Beauty Baking Powder. This is in shade number three. I haven't used this in a while as well. And I use this to set underneath my eyes. I use it to set my forehead and I use it to set my chin as well as my contour. I then take the, the take the Becca Chloe Malika Quad. In specific, this is the Malika Quad because she's a little bit more my complexion. And I use the bronzer to set the cream bronzer, which is why I don't use a setting powder as I stated in my last video because you're already setting everything so I feel like you don't need it. I then take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting in the shade Dim Light and I use this underneath the eye to give it a nice pink halo effect as well as a smooth transition underneath there. I then take the Italia Lip Pencil, this is in the shade Black and I use this to tight line my waterline so that it's no skin showing underneath there. It makes it just so much better to apply falsies. I then take the MAC, and let me be specific. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Lash, Black Lash, and I use this to um, coat my eyelashes. 
I then take the Holly Boone or H&B Cosmetics um, eyelashes in the shade Extra, a little bit of duo glue. These lashes are exactly what they say, Extra. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end of the video and I will give you guys my results um, on certain products that are new. Uh, that I have liked or if I did not like so just stay tuned for that but what I like again like about this duo I literally just use the wand for everything so again coat the the um, eye with the duo and then I just place my lashes on there use my finger to push it up I then take the pretty vulgar um, highlight and, sh and shimmering swan sorry if you guys heard my phone I meant to put it on private on silent and then I use that as highlight to the highest cheekbones i also use it on my temple nose and then i also use it on my lip and my chin i'm not exactly sure if i added those clips but yes it, it went all over and i wouldn't heavy hand it i wanted everything to be extremely potent like i didn't want i wanted everything to pretty much show up in my pictures i then take the morphe blush palette let me be specific and the name's so freaking pretty i love love this palette i'm using it in a minute as well i take the shade queen first then go into drama i use drama to place at the top of my cheekbones as well as my temple to give it that dramatic effect yes i used two blushes and i love the way both of them looked it just made it 10 just made it extra now that's really what i was going for i then take the dual glue and i start to place my rhinestones on the eye this really just took the look to another level and i really truly love the way this came out it was so pretty that is exactly what the makeup look needed not that it was already it was already extra but you feel me just had to just go there <laughs> i then take the la girl lip liner in the shade toast my very favorite oops my favorite nude lip liner and then take the bible El Maquillage uh, collection, and this is in the shade Libra. And then I take the Dose of Colors lip gloss, and this is in the shade Rockin' It. So this is the completed and final book. I absolutely love the way this came out. It is so fucking pop, if I do say so myself. Okay, and I'm hella gassing myself up, period, because if nobody else gonna do it, I am gonna do it, period. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is what I created. We got the black on the lid, we got the stones, we got the extra va va boom. I absolutely love it. Get into it though, seriously. I really, really love this look. So if you enjoyed watching me and you would love to see me again, don't forget to subscribe down below. It's not going to cost you a thing. I promise you that. So do your girl a favor and subscribe. Help my channel out. or Don't forget to hit that good on notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. You don't want to miss a beat. I'm telling you, we got some more videos coming. I'm going to Michael's to get some more extra stuff for my face so I can start getting a little bit more creative with my looks, which is going to be so much fun. I have so many ideas so yes another video is coming oh you know what in the intro besides the pigment that i showed you guys um the holly boon lashes in the style extra this was brand new uh, i haven't worn these and the reason why i haven't worn these is because like the name say they are extra they were gifted to me when i did a purchase with her when she first dropped her line and you know this was like the perfect time to use these lashes because they're so bold they're so out there they're so in your face and i was like you know what halloween speaks to me when i look at these lashes so absolutely love them they're very lightweight they're not heavy at all which i'm surprised i thought they were gonna be pretty heavy but they're not obsessed i'm about to go make some tiktoks I'm about to take some pictures for the gram. Don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok. And, oh, you know what else is new, you guys? The Pearlies Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. This is brand new. Uh, I just opened it, and I love this. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. I feel like my makeup application was so nice and good. Like, I feel like it was really priming my skin and going on so smooth like i feel like hands down this has been 
the absolute best makeup application I have done so far. Like, I'm very satisfied with the way my skin looks. I feel like it looks very smooth. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with this um, primer. So, yes, this is a 10 out of 10. And definitely will be using this again in my video. So, be on the lookout. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. I truly appreciate it. If you made it all the way to the end, you are true. Real one for that, for sure. And I will see you guys on my next video. I'm not sugar and spice and everything nice. I'm sage and hood and wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> yeah, right. You're the softest bitch I know.